There is a place for faithfulness to man, but not faithfulness of worshipping man. It's faithfulness out of principle. It's a faithfulness because you are a person of truth. Faithfulness because you are a person of love. So you are faithful to person as friends, as colleagues. Everybody is supposed to be faithful to one another. But not the faithfulness that we have in churches today when they will say you have to be faithful to the church means that you have to do everything that the Jew says. You have to come to church. You have to bring your money. You have to be, you don't have an opinion. That is not the faithfulness that we are, we are, you know, God demands. Faithfulness is required for everybody, every human being. You know, that is just a character of somebody who knows God, who is part of, you know, God's family. God's, he is even a human being. Faithfulness is normal, but not faithfulness for dominion, the way these people are trying to exercise here. And Jesus himself contradicted that and said, never let that happen. You know, the rulers of the Gentiles, they rule over them. Don't let it be among you. You shall not be, you know, you know, but whoever desires to become great among you, you go and serve, become the servant. And whoever desires to be first among you, let him become your slave. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, to give his life a ransom to many. So you have a faithfulness, first of all, is to, like to be like Jesus. We are having a mandate from God, that just like the Son of Man came to serve. So our faithfulness should be to our calling, to the will of God, to the purpose of God, to the kingdom of God, to the Father, to a personal relationship with God, to intimacy with God, to love God like with all our heart, soul, and, uh, uh, and strength, and to love people like that as well. That is what it demands from us. That is the ultimate faithfulness. 